where have they gone? The ghosts of revolutionaries and fallen cold warriors. Banished to the dark warehouses of museums in Germany, Russia, Poland, and Los Angeles? Ten years ago, native Californian Dr. Justin Jempel founded the Venda Museum in Carver City in the Los Angeles area. The Venom Museum is a museum and archive of the Cold War time period in the former East Bloc. The museum has about 70,000 different collections, artworks, journals, diaries, and our current program deals with the theme of surveillance in our lives. At the museum, visitors have a chance to literally eavesdrop on history. Es kommt natürlich das erste Mal, wenn man da hinkommt, irgendwie surreal vor, oh, dass hier unter, unter Palmen so ein, ein, ein fundierteres Museum über die DDR existiert, als ich es aus Deutschland kenne. Ideologie war das große Thema des äh, 20. Jahrhunderts und äh, man merkt mehr, mehr, dass es sich halt auch doch ins 21. Jahrhundert äh, hineinschleppt. Und es ist natürlich sehr gut, dass sich eine Institution darüber strukturiert Gedanken macht. The museum's unique location outside Germany provides an independent perspective on this historical period. I was thrilled to find out there's a museum about the Cold War in Los Angeles. Cold War dominated American politics for, for 45 years. I think it has a lot of educational value because when student groups come to the museum, they've been studying this history in books and, and in pictures. But then to see these things and to actually experience them really opens and changes their whole thinking. I'm a professor at California State University, Long Beach. I'm looking for the rare, unusual videos from communist Germany. I come to Wendy Museum with my students every semester. We're almost like adopted by <laughs> this museum. Also, uns freut natürlich, um, dass, uh, dass unsere Geschichte auch hier repräsentiert wird. Wenn man in Los Angeles in einem ganz anderen Umfeld, wo man eigentlich nicht über diese Sachen so viel nachdenkt, mit, mit diesem Thema konfrontiert wird, DDR und ähm, Sozialismus und, und, und Kommunismus und diesen ganzen äh, Fragestellungen, dann, dann denkt man ganz anders darüber nach. Another one of the great things about the Vente Museum is that it's independent. It's not an official government museum. We get sent things from former secret police agents, border guards and everything because we're so far away and we're not involved in those very controversial aspects of the past. The Fente Museum gets to tell the story the way historians want to tell the story. And it's a much more open, much more compelling, and, and much, much less tendentious way of understanding the history of the East than you would get at an official government museum here or in Germany. The museum's success can be attributed to the vision and determination of its founder. Wenn er mir das, bevor er damit angefangen hätte, auf einer Veranstaltung irgendwie erzählt hätte, wissen Sie, ich habe davor in Los Angeles ein Museum über DDR-Geschichte und Kultur zu bauen und möchte da die größte Sammlung von DDR-Memorabilia aufbauen. Dann hätte ich gesagt, ja, sch schön. Und dachte, ja, und ich, will, ich möchte dann auch die Unterstützung der Stadt und äh, von großen Sponsoren. Dann sage ich, ja, viel Erfolg. Aber er hat es geschafft und, äh, und, und, und das Museum ist damit auch ein Zeugnis für irgendwie die, die Willenskraft eines Mannes. The Vendor Museum is constantly developing new ways to stay current and to connect with the multicultural community. One of the things that we're most excited about is bringing the museum outside of the traditional museum walls. We have created an outdoor installation by bringing our Berlin wall pieces into the community. Here we're just walking by and uh, we're visiting uh, some other sites around town and saw, hey, what's going on here? We just kind of wandered over and saw that this big mural wall here and it ends up being part of the Berlin wall, so we're just Pretty excited to see it here. Ich freue mich eigentlich, dass uns Deutschen hier in Amerika äh, vorgelebt wird, wie man vielleicht mit unserer eigenen Geschichte umgehen sollte. It's important to be able to look at others in order to look at your own conditions. And if we're looking at the full range of human emotions, which we very much believe occurred during this time in the East Bloc, from the very best to the very worst, I couldn't think of a better case study and a way to explore something that is outside of us. You know, just seeing history. I mean, you, you walk by and you say, hey, this has so much to do with so much of the current world, the past world, and what we hope to be in the future, breaking down walls. So it's just a nice thing to see. 
And so the history of the Cold War comes back to life under the warm sun of LA.